Yeah, so my name is Justin Whitwick, and I'm the composer and author of Summerton. I'm Lauren Shields, and I'm the director. So Summerton Man, <laughs> the musical is based off of a true crime story about a man who was found dead on Summerton Beach in Australia in 1948. So Justin has written this musical about a man named Thomas, who is the Summerton man, we gave him a name. And Thomas takes us through the story of his life right before his death and then the investigation after his death. So this true crime craze has been different for so many individuals. For some, it's trying to learn how to stay alive and not end up like Summerton man. For others, it's trying to understand the psychology behind these killers. How can somebody possibly rationalize murder? But our story tonight will have you questioning who really killed who. I just want to remind you guys real quick that there's a live stream going on. So when the microphone is set up back there and they won't be able to hear if there's any sort of chit chat or whatever. Not that you guys would. I'm excited for this great audience. <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. All right. Um, I'm going to step away, but I'm going to let the cast introduce themselves to you before we get started. Enjoy the show. So I'm Justin again, still, and I will be playing Thomas King. He is an American ballet spy who gets sent over to Australia for communist reconnaissance. Hi, I'm Blake Brundy, and the first character I'll play in the first scene is Agent Miller, and then for the rest of the show, I will be Detective Thompson. Hello, my name is Carly Emeling. For the first scene, I'm playing the choreographer, and for the rest of the show, I will be Officer Clutterbuck. Hello, my name is Yasmeen Ransland, and I will be playing Jessica and Miss Reed. Hello, my name is Deshaun Williams. I will be playing Alexi and Omar. Hello, my name is Kennedy Krisky, and I will be playing Officer Wilson. <laughs> Look here and follow me for this wild ride. I don't belong up here. If I see a place where I just might be, why don't you come and see me? A few months prior, in America, Thomas is receiving orders from Agent Miller at the ballast. Come on! We really need him over in Australia. No way! This dead homer pirouette us back into the Great Depression! No one could smile while watching him! Hey, it wasn't that bad. I'll know you are. We better make it six. Meanwhile, in Russia, June 1947. I was able to pull some strings and get you stationed in Australia. Australia? How exotic. Yes, enjoy it, but do not lose focus on the mission, comrade. You must garner support amongst the communist factions and let us know what areas have strongholds. We will start finding funding once we have our strongholds. Thomas, we have confirmation that the Russians are starting a communist uprising. There is a woman you are to meet and get pictures of. She is a member of the USSR Secret Agent Service, and we need more confirmation of her whereabouts. We have information from a source that she is attending a ballet in Adelaide, Australia. She is a five foot seven Russian woman with brown hair. Intelligence tells us she usually heads to the dog's head at night. We only have a picture of her in sunglasses and the hat. Make contact. Get close enough to get a picture. Or a few. Yes, sir. Good. To make the trip a little easier, I got you a little present, my darling. Tickets to the ballet. I haven't been since I was a little girl when I went to the revolution. Be safe and always be on the lookout. I don't want to hear anything but good news. Do you understand? Yes, let's I need you at your best. Things haven't been the same in these last few years. They think they won the war. They'll win the school of thought. They'll see what's in store. Girls. 
Let's roll over. I'll stop to wonder up and down. Back in Australia, December 1947. Detective Thompson is doing Officer Wilson and Officer Butterbuck will be back in the Look, after a regular shift, I need you to head down to this ballet. I hear there are some shady people who might be there. Oh, good. Is this a new assignment? Not quite yet. Just make sure nothing out of the ordinary is going on there. And take note if there's any suspicious activity. Land there. And don't draw attention to yourselves. Starts at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Yes, sir. Look here, my strange good night. Who could we be? Some lies and some truth will be shown. And we can the shore. Down here in Adelaide, voices will be.
leaving the bar with Jessica and spending the night. Yasmin's going to tell you now a little bit about Jessica as a character. Jessica is a Russian spy who is posted to Australia. She is in a difficult relationship with her commander, a current husband who is abusive and manipulative. She is forced to do things she never would have done otherwise. She finds solace in a book of Persian poems called The Rubaiyat. We continue the morning after Thomas spends the night. Thompson was prescribed pain meds for his time in the war. Blake, Sam, I'm going to tell you guys about Thompson. Detective Thompson dug trenches in the war and had some back pain, so recently he went to the doctors and was prescribed opioids. He is trying to keep a hold of his life, his career, and pursue this case that he's very passionate about, but he finds that he is losing control. He said, be careful when you drink. Make sure it's not with these. Mixing then isn't the recipe to guarantee your days in life. Only thing they'll do. Is there gonna make you lose control? Can't fly 
I can't find my mind But I like it If it's release It's safer But I think they've taken control on Jessica and the Communist Party. Within that last year, Jessica became pregnant from her one-night stand with Thomas and had to tell her husband, Alexi, about it. Here's the show I'm to tell you guys about Alexi. About Alexi, I'm going to get out of the way for this. <laughs> uh, Alexi is a Russian spy uh, who sends his wife and also lawyer and comrade, Jessica, to uh, on a mission. And um, uh, Alexi is also a very commanding and also abusive towards his wife, uh, Jessica. And after a scandal involving his wife happens, he finds his way back to Australia, which then leads to the accusations of his and Jessica's involvement in Thomas Keene's death. So our story continues with Thomas showing up to their doorstep only to find Alexi there this time. They get in a physical altercation and Thomas locks himself in the bathroom for safety. I just wanna die. Please. 
Please, someone come save me. I'm scared of myself. I can't be alone here tonight. I heard she's recently engaged. Only met last month. Yeah, it is, and I've never seen him again. <laughs> I thought I could end it. I couldn't live without her. There wouldn't be any more pain. It could fall over. <laughs> she could never love you. You assaulted her? That bitch. How could she do that to me? I could kill her. You can't. You love her. You could kill yourself. I mean, I guess I could. Maybe this can all be over. So I've decided. Come to an idea which will take this all. Do I conspire back? You can't. God, do I let it out? Please take this all away. When I was a kid. I love to lie, wanted to be immortal, but the way of affairs transpired makes me hope it'll be okay.
could have been from disease or war. If all those skin of men were on your face, not a scar from your chin would be raised. It's My chest tightens as I lose all sense of oh, waves crashing in my head and all around me. It won't be my poems start to freeze while my lungs start to squeeze as the pressure sounds in my ears and I find the blues. My soul starts to depart and is taken by the breeze. I can feel my skin and I can't catch my breath. All I want is a and a simple drink. Let you shudder from the side of the Do your soul be a to the air? No, it's your time to follow Act two opens up in disarray. Our cops find our crime scene on the beach, and Jessica is wondering if she had played a part in any of it. Closer to 
What's wrong with you? Sorry, just distracted. About? The thought that we're the reason he's dead. You can't think we had anything to do with this, right? No, I just... Get it out of your fucking head. Now is not the time and you know it. No, I know. I'm just scared of someone... Neighbors can say anything. We're not from here. They don't owe us an alibi. It'll be okay. No one can blame us for anything, but you can't go involving us either. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It was nothing. I'm sorry, Alexei. Really, I'm sorry. Don't you get any ideas on me. We'll be out of this soon. All we have to do is lay low for a little while and we'll be out on a plane soon. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Good. Okay then, I'll be leaving. Don't get smart on me. I love you. I'm waiting. You're supposed to say I love you too. Come on, say it back. I love you too. It is not that hard. I love, I love you too. I must drown the memory of that insolence. As Lexi tries to control Jessica, our officers are finding some more clues. Here's Kennedy to tell you guys about Officer Wilson. Officer Wilson is a young, determined female police officer in Australia. She is working every day, being the only woman in her station, to get even half of her value recognized by her boss, Detective Thompson. Officer Wilson was born shortly after women had earned the right to vote. And she had, was raised watching very powerful women fighting for themselves in the workplace. And so throughout the show, she is trying to prove that she deserves to stay in this position in the police force. And in this scene particularly, she is hoping to find a clue that could move the case along enough to make her boss see her. <laughs> All day and all night I've searched No answers for me How could that be? This doesn't seem right There has to be something I hear you. 
guys a little bit about Officer Clutterbuck. Officer Clutterbuck is written as a male character. Clutterbuck follows in his father's footsteps as an officer at the station. He very much looks up to Detective Thompson and tries to help as much as possible, but it just never goes as he plans. So our story continues with Detective Thompson, Officer Wilson, and Clutterbuck bringing the piece of paper to Nasreen, who is a Persian translator. Our actress who plays Jessica will be playing Nasreen, and our actor who plays Alexi will be playing Omar for the song. We, uh, we're told you might be able to help us out. Do you know what this means? Where did you get this? It was in the pockets of a man that we found dead. I see. We were wondering if you could tell us anything about it. Uh, Wilson here said it might be Persian. Well, yes, it is indeed Persian, and it's from the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Rubiwat? Rubiyat. It is a collection of poems from Omar Khayyam written in the 11th century, translated in the mid-19th century. Look back in 1048, a child was born with a mind no one's seen before. Studied and made a life for himself, philosophies beyond all void. Tutored by greats and learned from scholars everything a man would want to know. His gifts were clear with uncanny ideas. Let's talk about Omar. Should I go on, Mr. Thompson? Please. 
face. So Omar grew up and had some thoughts about where we go when we die. He said, God's not real, real life's, life's not ideal. ideal. Let's talk about the world today. Excuse me, uh, Tamam should. What exactly does that mean? Tamam should means the end of all things life and light. There will be nothing left here alive. Maybe it was a message for whoever found him, or he's come to his own end. Maybe it was a suicide. I don't know why, but something still doesn't feel right about this book. I mean, how would he have gotten a tear out from the page of a book and not his possession or luggage? Suicide what? Anyways, can you tell us a little more about this book? Why is the joy of the spirit? Love is immense devotion to God. For some fill them up with that old familiar juice they will recover by and by. For others let their hearts turn to the sky and live their blind trust, never knowing why. I question. They are truly blessed For those who drunk that cup before Crept silently to rest But happy days When we're gone What should we believe? I can't see there being anything more So it's in the area. It's fine where this came from. Hmm? So detectives quickly um, linked the missing page that was found on Thomas to Jessica's copy of her Rubaiyat, and they immediately bring them down to the station for questioning. This is the last song you will be hearing tonight. This is a master plan, and you will not have all the answers on to who did what to who, but maybe you'll want to come back to the next. Okay. Um, <laughs> great. So we really just want to thank you so much for coming out tonight. We hope to take this and continue it as far as we can. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all. Please enjoy Master Plan. Hi there, Jessica. How are you doing? Well, I've had better vacations, that's for sure. Yeah, things are really tricky right now, I'm sure. You could say that. To put it plainly, things are going to get a little trickier. The longer you stay a part of this, the harder it is for us to get you off and prosecute Alexei. With your testimony, it's a sure conviction. He is my husband. Besides, I don't know how to help. I know nothing of the man or what happened. Jessica, if you keep this up, neither of you will have a guarantee back to Russia. With the way things are right now, it'll turn into a political prisoner situation. We can't release any information back to the embassy that you're here if you don't cooperate. What do you mean? All we're trying to do is have justice served for the killing of an innocent man. 
You need to give this act up. The sooner you detach your name from the case, the easier it'll be for you to see some light. Oh wait, that's right. You can't help us out here because you don't know anything about this guy or how he ended up dead. I guess I'll just let Detective Thompson know that I wasn't able to find anything, and he'll have Officer Clutterbuck walk you back to your holding cell. I mean, it only stays holding, and unless Alexi is telling him something about you to make sure he makes his flight. But I'm sure he wouldn't do that. Oh, well, I guess it'll be up to a jury to decide if either of you two had any involvement. Thomas Keene. I'm sorry. His name was... Listen here, Alexi. I know you did it. I will have the best lawyers to connect you in every way possible, to leave without a shadow of a doubt. You are the one responsible for the death of a man we can't even give the dignity of a name to. I look forward to seeing it once I get a hold of my lawyers. Oh, there won't be any phone calls for you. Alexi! Hmm. Uh, sorry, please do fill in your last name so we can alert the embassy. Hey, Clutterbuck, have you seen Alexi's passport? No, I have not, sir. How do you know where he's from? I'm not aware of his citizenship at the moment. Oh, great. So that means until we find out who he is, you won't be able to make any calls. We can't alert an embassy without a name. Until then, I guess it'll just be quiet. You cannot. You are in no place to tell me what I can and can't do. Thomas Keene. He saw me in a bar and came up to me. I I'm not sure if he drugged the drinks to get me to go back with him. I start to black out, and next thing I know, I think I'm in a dream. Jessica, would you be willing to sign this as an official statement? Thomas Keene. I don't know where to start. Talk. Scary things happen in the dark. Things people shouldn't see. It's plain. He came up and tried to buy me a drink. I said I'm good and I'm leaving, I think. He wouldn't stop. I said thank you, but no. I told him he has to go. I told him I had a husband back home and he wasn't for me. Just give me one second. I need to grab something real quick. Uh, don't move, Muscle. She's ready to tell me who the tribal master is. Great work, Wilson. Grab the recorder. We'll see what else we can get out of it. Keep it up. Let me tell you something you want to know. Songbirds sing where the green grass grows. But in the zoo, the tiger's trapped behind the lock. The world lies with those who hold the key. If I were you, I wouldn't be so calm. There are so many things yet to go wrong. Only you can control your fate. So what choice will you make? But you see, there's nothing to tell. It's a story that feels well for me when I leave. Look, Alexi, this is your last chance to tell us something. Nothing. I, 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 I believe that uh, you were about to let me know. No, no, I didn't. Jessica, you've been doing great telling me about Thomas now, but you're not telling me about your husband's involvement. A 
I'm sorry, but I won't be answering any more questions about my husband or a lawyer. So that's it. You just let him rot. Cold under the ground, and that's all you've got. His heart stopped beating, and you to live. What did you have if I survived in Australia again? Are you okay? I'm fine, Clutterbuck. Shut up. Tell me when you got here. Thank you guys.